Hello Superherd and welcome back to Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle and today I want to be continuing on with our wonderful, wonderful Mario adventure and how I want to be doing that of course is by moving on to World 2. If you guys didn't see the previous episode, we finished up World 1 I think 100%. I don't think we've missed anything at this point. We got all the secrets, we got everything we need. So now we can move on to World 2. Sherbert Desert? Sherbet Desert? I'm pretty sure Sherbert is like a type of a... What's it called? Like treat? It's like an icy treat. What is happening over here? Oh, what a, that's a poor ducky. Oh, they missed. Oh, oh no, they have another one. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. So yeah, we can't even access World 2 unless we get the ability we unlocked from completing World 1, which is pretty obvious. What is on the floor here? Did somebody spill their, oh no, it's ice. Oh yeah, it's Sherbert. So yeah, it's gonna be Sherbert. Apparently, it's, is it Sherbert? I always thought it was Sherbert with an R at the end. But um, what exactly could we do here then? It looks as though I can push this block and it'll keep going until it reaches a stop like that, and there's a rabbit's block that stops it. So it's a little uh, momentum puzzle here. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. So, um, hmm. If I do all that, I get here. Okay, so there are some interesting puzzles going on here. What is this? I've not learned how to do this yet. So there's even more stuff we can't quite do, including something I don't know what to do here. Okay, I feel like at this point, when it comes to actually learning all the tricks and the tips and the tools we need, we're gonna have to like, I mean I could, I actually can't, because I haven't learned how to, there's like several things he hasn't learned how to do. So I don't know, maybe we need to complete the entire game before we start going through and searching for secrets, but now we need to dilly dally now, we're going to world two, for real. I thought we were sort of technically in there, but I forgot that we had the cannon our way in. Okay, I'm excited. Let's see what world two is all about. Obviously, it seems to be desert, but there's ice and desert meeting. Hello? Wonderful, this once thriving desert is now partly a frozen wasteland. Your arrival in this world would seem to be as welcome as a skunk in a bowling alley. I mean, why a bowling alley specifically? Hello again, hi Toadette! Have you seen Toad? We got separated, again? <sighs> he thinks it's fun. <laughs> Just throw out the map and let your heart be your guide is his motto. Could you please find him for me? I'm starting to get worried. I'll stay here just in case he comes back. Okay, have fun with that. Would be cool if we could have a toad in our party, but I don't think that's the case. Look at you guys. What are you? You're like little coconut rabbits. I don't know, and there's ice trays, so we're not going this way, but there is battles on the other side of that way. Interesting. So there's more than one way to go here, and that's a bit confusing, but Hey, we'll do what we can, and there's a prize. It probably won't be anything spectacular. Oh, I was wrong. You got five power orbs, that's awesome. That'll be a good start. Speaking of power orbs, I don't think we have a ton right now. If we go to our skill tree, yeah, we don't have a huge ton. I could pull out Rabbit Luigi, maybe in turn of Rabbit Peach. The problem is that heal is so helpful. I wish we could have 40, four, four, not 40, four person party members, because like right now for me, Mario, Rabbit Peach and Luigi are playing such vital roles. The healing, the sniping, and the overall power supply for Mario, just like, oh, it's so good, I don't wanna trade that up for anything. So, for right now, I won't. We're going this way, and we got our first battle of World 2, where we'll probably find very treacherous things. Defeat all. I plan on it, don't worry. Oh, man. Some. A lot of you said you didn't want me to do easy mode. Unless I'm like truly, truly struggling. Which right now I'm not. Okay, so who do we have here? We have several rabbits. We got this one right here and they have 75 health. So we have one, two, three, four. But these guys even have even more health. Um, if I go to Tacticam, this is a Sherbet Hoppern. Um, interesting, he has a double jump, seven cells. Uh, this guy has a dash. He has a Sherbet Ziggy, so okay. So there's different hoppers and ziggies depending on the area you are in. So we have two Ziggies and two Hoppers to deal with. I don't see anybody else, so I'm gonna guess that's it. So if we go ahead and, um, hmm. I think the first thing we'll have to do then is get Mario to power boost people. Or maybe we should wait for that for next turn. Maybe we should get everybody nice and ready with this, just in case they do make some crazy first moves. And I haven't played since yesterday, but I played a lot yesterday, so I'm hoping that tactically I'll be a little bit better because while going through World 1 and recompleting everything we didn't get perfect took a lot of time, and I think that if we do that again, um, I'll do it in a way that has me like, here, can Mario bounce off of you and do the same thing? If I switch to Mario. But uh, I'll probably do it now, oh no, he doesn't get as much range. Hmm. 
Okay. Then I'll have Mario here. Maybe Luigi can go over there to the right. Okay. Um, but yeah, like I said, if we are gonna go back and perfect everything, I will think I'll wait until the end of the playthrough. I think right now, like, you know, it was good to go back and, you know, get some extra stuff from World 1 and complete everything because obviously it makes me more able to uh, defeat more enemies. But I think going forward, what we'll do is maybe I'll go back to get a couple secrets, especially if I know there's a weapon waiting for me. But more importantly, I'm going to just focus on completing the main game and then we'll see what we can do after that. So who do we have to attack here? And several characters, not too many I can actually guarantee hit, actually none of them, but maybe I can hit you. Boom, I can, 73 damage is a great start. And then if I can hit you with this, that'd be great, but I don't know if I will be able to. I think we should just do Rabbit Peach instead and see if I can't get lucky. Nope, not quite. Hmm. All right, Mario, you can give it a shot because we don't really have too much else we can do. Critical, that's pretty cool. I wish I could have gotten that before because that would have been a one, one hit takedown. But that's all we can really do for right now, so we might as well finish off enemies. So of course, I'm gonna be recording a couple episodes ahead no matter what, because these episodes are gonna be long, so I have to stay ahead of schedule. Look at these two, the brotherly takedown. So there's the other Ziggy down. Now we just have to worry about the hoppers, which are moving closer. And, um, they do get a 100% shot on Mario there, but that's okay. It should be fine. And whoa, what did he do there? I'm not sure. Oh, he used a shield, so he's gonna be taking less damage. And then of course, he tries to destroy some of that. Uh, barrier and we're behind. I gotta remember that there's a difference between shields and barriers because that way, you know, you will understand what I'm talking about. Um, I can't quite walk over there, but what I could do is I could just hide like right here. And well, it seems like no matter where I stand, I get a 0% chance of hitting him. So I'm going to assume that like that's going to make him invulnerable for quite some time, but I think like, as Mario, I could hop over here and then just land on Yen. It doesn't seem like it'll do any damage, but I think maybe, maybe it'll break his shield? I'm not really sure how that'll work. If not, I'm gonna be in a bad situation, so maybe I should focus on the other rabbit? Hmm. I don't know, that's weird. Uh, I will get Mario over here, that way he can't shoot. Like, if he tries to shoot at me from there, he won't be able to because like several barriers are blocking him and hopefully this will also block me from that guy. And more importantly, now as Luigi, I can move back to him. Oh, I can't bounce off of him from here? Really? Okay, well I mean, yeah, of course not. What am I talking about? Okay, so that was silly of me. So I might be better off if I go like this. That's not a 100% chance shot? Hmm, okay. I would think that would be, I guess it's not completely angled up. It'd be easier if I could have more full control over the the uh, camera. So that just hit the barrier, that didn't do too much for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and activate my own shield for her, because things might turn out a little bit nasty here. Mario, you're just gonna have to go ahead and shoot that dude, or miss. Everybody's missing today, I don't appreciate it. Hmm, okay, we might as well pull out the damage boost now because I might end up needing it. And like, I could either go for the guaranteed hit with this or risk it with the sniper and I think we'll just go with this. This is what we have to upgrade soon because if we could upgrade this, that'll mean that we get more damage out of it, obviously. <laughs> oh, poor Mario. But yeah, he doesn't have his shield anymore so we just had to wait out that turn. Uh, Okay, well that's not gonna be, actually if he just stays there, and, oh no, now he has his shield. Oh, that stinks, will this actually just do zero damage then? So yes. Guarantee no hitting him when he has a shield out, which sort of stinks. But Mario, or let's, let's get Rabbit Peach somewhere. Um, where should we get Rabbit Peach then? Maybe just like right here? And then that'll give a guaranteed shot to you. Ready? Boom, that's nice. And then Mario could go over there. If we switch to Mario. Uh, No, actually Mario can't reach over there. Why did I think he could? I don't know. Well, then what other things can he do right now? He could go over here. I just don't know if that's a good idea or not. Who can we attack right now? Right now we don't have too many opportunities to attack too many people. But from here, we do get the 50% chance on that guy. Uh, This guy. But we already, our power boost is already gone. So I guess it really only lasts one turn. Good to keep in mind. All right, Luigi, I'm gonna have you sneak over here for a 100% chance shot, 
I think that would be good. Ready, aim up, let it rip. Can you get a critical? That'd be good. You can't. That's okay, you tried. <laughs> I think I'm nicer to Luigi than I am anybody else. And I don't wanna use this heal because uh, Rabbit Peach doesn't really need it too much and the other characters aren't nearby. Okay, that's not good. That's a critical end. I do wanna say, uh, we're six episodes in now, right? Oh no, is this supposed to be episode five? And I labeled it as episode six in my recorder. I think that's the case. <laughs> I don't know, though. I'll have to double check later. Either way, thank you guys so much for your support in the recent episodes. I really, really appreciate it. More episodes, of course, are coming soon. So my best bet for taking care of this bozo is I can't move. I can't stink and move. Okay. Um, Mario, could you possibly hop off of her? Not quite, not quite. Hmm. All right, well, if she's just not gonna be able to make herself useful, I'm just gonna have her shoot him and hopefully get lucky. Yes, we did indeed get lucky. Okay, that's good. Um, Luigi actually hasn't taken any damage. So maybe I could get Mario to go like this, and that should be in the range of the heals. So if we do this, this will heal the two people who need it. So if we go like this, nice, that's good. Hopefully there's ways to upgrade this heal. I have to look into that. Cause that's her like primary focus right now, or should be at the least. All right, you are gonna get smacked like that. 61 damage, ain't too bad. And then maybe we could finish you off, make you go back to like, hmm. Well, I guess I could just do this. Cause that way I can 100% hit you and it should take you out. And then that's our first battle done, right? Yep, think so? All right, Luigi, you know what to do. Boom, bam, got it. Okay, golden shot too. So there is that battle cleared. We got our first one, perfect, that's great. Four out of five turns, didn't take us too long at all. Always had something good going on. I don't think we missed any coins except for this one. But yeah, thank you guys so much for your support on this series. It's been a really fun game, so I'm glad you guys are into being in this, you know, part of this series for the long haul. All right, defeat all. And there's a weird, like, bowling ball in the background on a track. Yep, there it is. <laughs> hmm. What's up, prepare for battle roll. Nope. Oh, there's a new pause menu, cool. So we have one rabbit here, this is a Ziggy. Over here we have another Ziggy. And then over here, up on the high ground, this guy's gonna be the big worry, another Ziggy. And then a Ziggy right here. So they're all Ziggies, but there's a lot of them. Let's go to Battle HQ really quick. Let's see how many coins we have. Uh, Team, we're good there. So, like I said, I want Luigi. Imagine if, oh man, I really wish we could have like a, maybe, I know that they are having DLC for this game. I don't know what DLC has been confirmed. It would be cool if they add in new characters. So this doesn't give me any kind of damage boost. So I need to wait until we have 700 coins at the least. Maybe we could get one of these. I'd probably do the ink damage. I feel like that would be a better one. Now skill tree. Uh, hmm. Let's see, increases heals range of effectiveness. Heals take less turns to recharge. That actually sounds pretty good, but it costs 100. Uh, mega heal. So this we need 40. So we don't have too much for it, but if we could save her up to 40, that'd be really good. Um, okay, that's all we can really do for right now. Let's get started with the, no. Let's get started with the fight. But it would be cool if that in a future DLC they added like new campaigns or something that also added new characters, because gosh darn, it would be so cool if there was like Rabbid Luigi and Rabbid Wario, but I'm pretty sure it is just Mario, Peach, Luigi, Yoshi, and then the Rabbid versions of those four characters. And that's just not as fun. Definitely not as fun. I wonder if, could I, I wish I could go down a pipe and then do something and then go back. Like I think that would be the best thing. But instead, I guess what I'll do is I'll go over here, attack you, and I mean, I really could go for the double here. And then, oh yeah, I could do that. That might be our best bet. Ready, boom, that's why she's really good with her double slide, because she's dispersing 40 damage in her movement turn. And that's really good. Let's see. And this will do enough to finish him off, guaranteed. Boom, and it was a critical. Pretty good. So, Mario, I think I know, and I think you know what you need to do. And you need to hop off of Luigi so that you can hop off of this rabbit, and then, you could just sort of hide right behind him, I think. Yeah, I think it'd be best, because there's a lot of cover around here. But there is a rabbit where? A rabbit over there, who could peek his little head over, but same thing for over here. So like, if I was right here, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%,
but he could still hit me is the thing. I'm pretty sure. Um. Hard to say. I guess right here is still our best bet, even if we get hit by one Ziggy. All right, there you go. And how is Luigi's range of movement from here? Because I could have Luigi, ah, oh, if Mario was one thing closer, I should have thought about that a little bit more, I guess. All right then, Mario, finish him off. And then maybe we could get Mario ready with the, um, whatever this is called, Hero Sight. And then Luigi's version of Hero Sight as well would be helpful. His uh, steely stare. And then, you know, if he's gonna be vulnerable there, we might as well make Luigi somewhere. And maybe I should just set him up like, where can I get 100% shot on any of these characters? I don't think anywhere from here. But if I do this, let's set up, ooh, okay. That's not too far away if I do this, not to you, but to you. Let's give that a shot. Okay, okay. Okay, we're a little bit closer, a little bit closer, but for now, we're gonna finish our turn. I wonder if at any point, will we be able to use four characters in a party? Like at one battle? I think that'd be really cool if they do extend that depth a little bit. Oh, look at you! Hitting him down and saving Lu Luigi. That's what I wanted, so that's what we got. Awesome stuff. So I'm drinking my tea, because I just need it today to warm up my voice. First recording of the day, you know? Okay, don't shoot me. Oh, you missed. <laughs> Why did you even take that shot then? Um. Oh no, he has one of the hero sights. That stinks. Oh, and I didn't notice that. Uh, interesting. I guess I should have hidden a better spot. And he has it as well. And, well, luckily, you might be able to roll over, but you're gonna shoot it. You're gonna shoot it. Will that destroy it? It won't. So they wasted their their uh, hero sights. That's really good. So that's what I wanted them to do. So if she could land this, that'd be really good. So we should probably just try to. I mean, actually she doesn't have to, because she can plop down from here. And the problem is that she doesn't have too much of a range of movement after that, so we should probably just keep her on the high ground, because if she does land it, she'll do extra damage. So yeah, let's just go ahead, boom. Just like that. Will that finish him off? It will, that was a really good golden shot. And then we can pick up these coins. So this battle's going pretty well so far. Ziggy's just aren't that big of a deal. Hmm, where's Mario at? Mario is around here. So I could, like I could have Luigi do like a double character jump, but I don't think it's really gonna be too helpful. So we could just have him hide here. And then we can switch to you, make you do that, and then land here. That should be good. And then finally, one of these characters can finish him off. Doesn't really matter which one. Mario's gonna do it. Okay. And that should be the whole battle, right? Yep, nobody is left to destroy. And that was actually turns two out of five. We did that really well. Okay. And we get a full heal, so that's already two one done. That's really good. So, so far, World 2 isn't looking to be too much of a threat, but hey, I don't think World 1 did either, and we still got our butt beat at times, so. 1,400 coins, an award of 900 coins in total. We are definitely gonna use those coins well. Okay, so with that being said, weapon selection. We're gonna go over to Luigi, go to his secondary, and buy this. Yep, yep. That's gonna make him much more viable. Now, hmm. We have 35 for Luigi here, and what could we really get upgraded on him? We could do this now. And I mean, it's starting to become more and more necessary that we have more movement with each character, so let's just get him an extra move out there. It, it can't hurt, that's for sure. The only thing that could hurt is that if I could have chose something better than that, which honestly, I didn't really see what could be better than that in that situation. I'm gonna go up here, just to make sure there's nothing hidden up here. But hey, you know, I usually really, oh, there is something over there. I really dislike desert levels in Mario games. Most of the time, they're usually really challenging for how early they are in the game, like especially in the platformers. So I can't, I don't know what this is, but we can't do it, that's for sure. So I can't go in there. So it's just, you know, a puzzle we can't enter. See, there's actually a normal pipe instead of some of these rabbit pipes. It'd be interesting if there were uh, normal pipes we could enter and in game, just like we can the rabbit pipes, that would just make some visual variety. But so far that's not the case, but now we have a lot more ice to deal with. What in the world? It's another vortex, it's gotten bigger. <laughs> just taking a few photos. There must be a way to stop it. Oh, she's, oh, he's getting a mound. 
Two steps forward, one step back. To find spawning, you must defeat the rabbits who plague you at every step. However, each victory frees them from the mega bun, mega bug upon high. What? Pay close attention to when you defeat an enemy and you'll see that the mega bun, bug, mega bug regains some of the strength it lost when it merged with your foe. Wait, what? Hint, the ghost-like apparitions that rise to the sky after you clobber someone senseless are clue. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of that. Yes, I see. Defeating the rabbit frees them from the mega bug's influence, which then makes the mega bug stronger. Oh, that's very clever. I, oh, oh dear, that's not good, is it? Our only hope is to find Spawny and stop him from creating any more abominations that will add substance to the storm above. As you would say, let's go. First to find Toad, then Spawny. Okay, well. We can only hope, right? What is over here? Ooh, sneaky secret. And then another one of those statues that I can't do anything with. The mid -ball theme. Ooh, I, I wanna hear that. That sounds fun. I love the soundtrack to this game so far. I mean, I've talked about it a little bit. Of course, it's made by the same person who's made, you know, the soundtrack to games like Banjo-Kazooie and Ukulele, and you can definitely feel that atmosphere in the songs. Okay, so I need to push this. Oh, I see. I do that. Do that, and then do that. Some of these little pushy block puzzles. I'm pretty good at some of them. We get five more of these though, making us a little bit closer to our goals. Okay, so we can head off this way. Doesn't look like there's anywhere else to go, so might as well enjoy it. Hmm. Okay, free prize. Maybe this will give me more power orbs. It will not, but we get a Sherbert Ziggy. Cool. So yeah, you guys can let me know how far are you in Mario and Rabbids uh, Kingdom Battle, if you have the game. I know some people don't, and some people are still trying to get a Switch into the U. I'm sorry, I hope you get one soon and that you can enjoy it. Hopefully they'll have more by like Christmas time. That'd be good. Cause you know, by Christmas, they're gonna have a ton of awesome games on the Switch and that'll be great. I mean, I can't wait to see a year from now what, like, what is on the Switch, right? Like a year from now, how many awesome games are we gonna have to play? Cause at this point, <laughs> what are you? Um, can I, I can push you. Interesting. Uh, well, let me get the coins first, because we got coins all over the place. I missed one over here. But this is a Rabid Mario bomb. Is this Rabid Mario? Because I know there is a Rabid Mario you can play in this game, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't know, we'll find out. Seven, and then eight, and that will unlock a golden chest, which means a new weapon for somebody. I wonder whom. But this seems to be a little, it's just a slide down there. Why would we want that? Have we been down there? Yeah, we have been down there, that's a loop. So why would we want that? I don't know. Either way, we're gonna get our prize first. Oh, maybe we can't go up that other slope because it's ice, but we get ourselves a weapon. I wonder who it's gonna be for. It looks like, oh, for Mario, Bonsai Bill, our industrious rabid friends love Bonsai Bill. They think he's cute. This weapon unleashes a power-packed punch like Bill. Very cool. I like that weapon, so I'm gonna assume we can't go up here? No, we can. Okay, it's not as much of a slope as it looked. But is this a dead end? <laughs> Look at all these frozen rabbits. They're like, oh no. All right, oh, there we go. Oh, look at this. <laughs> a little disco ball for some reason. Sherbert Hopper for a not very crazy prize, which is the funny thing. Um, What was that for? Oh, there we go. Blah is the word. It's got groove, it's got meaning. Oh. Oh, they're sort of like in mid-dance, aren't they? And then they got frozen. That's silly. Okay, so that's everything we can do in this weird little area. Oh, look at the little, the bloopers, frozen as well. Okay, that's cool. So where can we push this little guy? Um, Actually, it might be better to push him this way. There's these little rolly puzzles that sometimes can be a bit of a challenge, but I think I actually got it already. All we have to do is push it here. No, no, push it here, and then push it there and then push to the left, and then finally. I'm glad that the ice isn't like super slippery, because that'd be frustrating, but oh, here it goes! Come on, is it gonna crush the ice? This weird rabid Mario ball that just happens to be what we're pushing for no reason? Um, Yeah, where'd it go? I don't know, but we can slide down here. So we can just travel up and down this, no problem. I was worried that, yeah, there's something changing everything in the balls though, like these rabbits and the balls riding around. So maybe this is a rabid Mario and we can unlock him somehow. I'm not really sure. Hi Toadette. Oh wow, it charged through here. Hi Toadette. 
The marble you rolled down here smashed the ice block in your way. You must be really good at marbles. Would you mind giving me a warning next time you do that? Maybe yell four or something. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you just gotta be on your toes. Huh? We're in a wild Mario world here, you know. You gotta always be careful. You gotta always be on your A game. Ooh, mini game. Let's try out the mini game and see how, we're, how we do with this one. So far we've succeeded at everyone we've ran in soon, which has only been like three of them. Okay, so I see what I need to do. All right, it shouldn't be too bad. All I need to do is push this block, just like that, and then push this one, and they're on ice it seems, so they will slide over if I actually push it correctly. And then we go like this, and we win! Yay, okay, we did it! Not bad. So that's gonna be another weapon for us. Before we got a Mario Blaster, this time we'll get Ooh, something for Rabbit Luigi, the Blastberry Swirl. Sweet victory is yours when you unwrap this long-lasting, flavorful mix of damage and secondary effects. Cool. Better than nothing. Better than a 3D model or music tune. I mean, those things are fine. But a weapon is undoubtedly better because what's the point of unlocking everything if we can't beat the game? But we can beat the game if we have better weapons. And there's something hiding here, so I'm glad I checked. Speaking of which, this is, oh, I, I think I pressed A a little too quickly so I didn't actually get to see what it was. Uh, okay. Oh, trousers. Uh, underwear everywhere. This once majestic landscape now looks like a frat house thanks to those rabbits. Okay. Interesting. I mean, most people aren't very good at taking care of the laundry. I don't think that has to do anything, I don't know, with anything specific, but. Go, oh, hi. Apparently, this town ain't big enough for the two of them. Uh huh. Well, let's watch what unfolds. Oh no! Left rabbit one! Poor right rabbit. Oh on. Hopefully they can still be friends. Let's go to World 2 Tune! Uh, Undergarment Gulch. Oh. Oh, look at this. I thought they said they liked rabbits. Oh, not rabbits, but bonsai bills. This guy does not look happy. He's just like, uh, this is awkward. Underwear. And <laughs> they give us a better shot of it, too. Poor fella, once soared freely overhead, spreading fear all throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Just look at him now, tangled in a gaudy, rabid undergarments. Oh, what a cruel fate. We must restore the Mushroom Kingdom to its original state. Bonsai Bill's freedom and dignity depends on it. I mean, he is a bad guy, though. Okay, so we just need to reach the area. Oh my, we have Sherbert Smashers. Okay, wow, that is so far. Oh no. Not good, not one bit good. Well, let's fight. I mean, what more can I really do? Well, oh, first off, definitely use this new move we got for Luigi. I think that'll be super duper helpful because the first thing I could do is get Peach just somewhere and even distracting almost. We could get her here. Like, even if he attacks her, that's okay. Let's get her here. Then she's, oh wait, is that gonna be too far for Mario and Luigi though? I don't think so. Um, like, where can Luigi go? Not quite that far, so I have made already a pretty big mistake, haven't I? Oh boy. Um, let's just activate your shield. Because we could attack these guys, but more is just gonna spawn in and it's gonna get us in a bad spot. So first off, you pull up your shield. And then, I really wish I thought about that. Um, you can hop off. And then I guess land like over here. Hmm. I guess that ain't too bad. Then maybe Luigi should stay back this time. And I guess we could activate something like this. I don't know if that'll make him mad and actually attack Luigi. We'll have to find out. I thought it would, I don't know. I didn't actually think I was gonna reach like right away. Oh geez, he gets close real fast. So let's just make him run like over here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, Oh, maybe I could, hmm. I could attack him. I don't know if it'll bring him close enough. It probably will. Oh boy, oh boy, off the scene. Oh, uh, yes it will. Yikes. 48 damage, quite a lot even with the shield. The problem now is that Mario can't attack him. That was silly of me. Uh, We'll just end the turn then. I, th I guess that's the best I could do because I still want her to, or him to attack her. Oh geez, but he has a power boost. Yikes, that could have taken me out altogether if I didn't have the shield up. I don't like it. Ugh. All right, so there's more popping up, so we don't want them to go over there. More we want them to go this way. 
So, Luigi can reach how far? Not too much farther for poor Rabbit Peach. Um, then Rabbit Peach should probably go here. And then we should see Luigi. How far can you... What? You can? Oh my gosh, I am the worst player. I wish there was a reset button. Restart, oh, we can restart the battle. I think I'm gonna restart the battle because I don't think we did good. I, like, I messed up some really basic stuff here that I think I shouldn't have a problem with. So I'm gonna try that again. So I'm gonna have Luigi do that and then he could definitely reach there. So I'm gonna have her just move here, probably activate your shield um, just like this because it's 40% damage reduction, which is crazy. And then finally, uh, well not finally, but Mario is gonna hop off of Yoon and then land as far as he can, basically. Uh, which is probably the safest thing is to do it here. And then Luigi can go super far based off of all of that. So now all we need to do is get Luigi to, I mean, we could even shoot at this guy once, but I don't know if it would be a good idea or not. Um, I mean, he's definitely eyeballing uh, Rabbit Peach right now, so. Maybe it'd be a good idea just to get him going like that. And maybe, just maybe, we can have this ink effect, which would be so helpful. Nope, no ink effect. Okay, well, yeah, that's not real. I wanted you to go around the other way, but you did not. But at least, you know, he's not gonna be able to attack Luigi. Wow, look at how far we can go with this. I still think the safest spot will probably be, I mean, really, there's only the Smasher, so if that's all we have to worry about, I'm gonna get him as far as I possibly can. So, bada bing, bada boing. <laughs> And we're good. Cool. So unfortunately, like right now, what could I do? I could either power up. You know, we could power up. Yeah, let's power up. Mario time. Mario time. Uh, and I'm gonna have you attack him. Actually, no, I'm gonna have you attack him. Because then hopefully it won't chase Rabbit Peach. I mean, maybe it's still always oh, honeyed. Okay, now's a really good opportunity just to take him out. Boom. Okay, so now we should definitely end our turn. Because we got that guy gone. That's really good. So this guy's still sort of a little aloof about what's going on. Which is good for us. It's really good. So Rabbit Peach is over here. Rabbit Peach could go over here and then land here. Or here's the thing. I was hoping that maybe we could bounce a character up. There's like multiple platforms here if we see. There is a pipe that'll lead to all of this situation here, but there's also this, which we can't climb up normally, but if we can get one or two characters up here, then one of them can bounce off the other and just land there, if that makes any sense. So, with that being said, I'm just gonna have her and go across, land next to Luigi. Um, and then I think Mario's best bet is to bounce off of her and land here. Yep. And then finally, Luigi can, who is right here, he can bounce off of you, land over like here. Okay, that's not too bad. And honestly, none of the, like this Smasher can't reach either uh, or any of our characters, so we might as well just end the turn like this. Because nobody's spawning in in our way right now, so I think our safest bet, once again. Oh, they're, they're bouncers. I thought they were gonna be uh, more smashers, but whatever they are, it's fine. Because they can't really travel super duper far. They can start shooting at us, but it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, And then you got your shield. Okay. So the only person right now who's taking damage is Mario. So this is definitely working out way better than last time, which I, I like, I appreciate. And you guys both have your shields out now. So now, what I could do, there's a few options for me. Cause like, Rabbit Peach could hop off of you and like land here. I think that's a good thing. I think that could be a really good thing. But first off, before she does, I need her to heal. Just her and Marion. Oh, she doesn't reach. Okay, so maybe now it's not a good idea, good time for that. Uh, then fine. We'll just go with our original strategy, which is to get you here. Where? How is? I guess this would still be the closest. So bounce, fly, all the things. Just don't die. And then you can bounce off of her and land up here. We could win right here. We could really win right here. I'm pretty sure we can. Watch this, watch this. So, 
her heal, can it reach Mario from here? It can't, which is a shame. Um, well then I want you to bounce there, bounce here, and win. See, that's all I was looking to do before. I just really messed at the beginning, but wow, what a round. That was so good. Three out of seven, really, really good. And we get our heals, okay, so that was it. I, I thought there was gonna be one more, which is why I was really worried about getting that heal from Rabbit Peach to Mario. Uh, but we don't have to worry about it. 900 coins, woo! That's a lot of coins. Awesome, awesome stuff. Ah, oh, boy. So, see ya, evil treacherous land of doom, unless there are some prizes we can maybe find, but it doesn't look like it. What I seen. So we're just gonna ignore it and run on down here. What can we find around here? Uh, an intimidating straightaway. Okay, so what are we gonna find down here? Um, I'm not really sure. Oh wait, there's a little secret though. Mini game, oh boy. Glad I was looking around and we got some music too. So yet another mini game. We're actually getting these a little more often, which is, oh, I'm trying to enter it from the wrong way. That's not gonna help me too much now, is it? So what is this gonna be? I love how quick the loading screens are though. Uh. Hmm, how do I wanna do this? Not like that, not like that. So let's actually press this like that, and that'll, oh I see, this makes sense, this makes sense. So all I gotta do now is raise that again. Oh, I don't have much time though, I don't have much time, I don't have much time. Oh uh, geez, I took too much time trying to figure it out. I gotta run, 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 no, I'm one less, no! <laughs> Come on, I gotta do it again. Uh, that's not too big of a deal, right? I know how to do it now though, so. It's it's pretty easy to figure out. I need to do one. Push that. Go over here. Uh, grab these. Uh, do that. We could do it with like a bunch of time left over this time. Uh, do that. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, hit that. Go over here. Go, 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 and got it with like seven seconds left. A lot more time. A lot, lot more time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we got the brute weapon. I didn't mean to skip through that. Okay, well, it was a brute weapon for uh, Rabbit Peach. Cool to see, cool to see. Okay, so let's go into two, three. We're making our way through these levels so far pretty darn fast. I wonder if World 2, oh boy, here comes trouble. I wonder if World 2 will be faster than World 1. Oh no, run Luigi, run! Oh boy. <laughs> He's so mean. I see you escaped Spawny's offspring back at the tower. Well, don't waste time patting yourselves on the back. With Spawny at my side, you'll be the ones fading into oblivion soon enough. Then nothing and no one will be the boss of me, except for your dad. Hear me, no one! Oh, uh oh, uh oh, who's ringing him? Papa? Papa, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle of some. Oh, he's mad, he's mad. No, I'm not throwing a party. <laughs> I finished my homework, well, most of it. Oh, that looks like somebody is the boss of him. Yes, I took out the garbage. Okay, Papa. I love that, Bowser's such a good dad. He has an army that can do everything in Bowser Jr.'s win, but instead he still gives him chores to teach him a sense of responsibility. Ah, oh, that's so cute. Uh, come on, Spawny, we're not done yet. We still gotta defeat Mario and his dumb friends. Papa will be so proud. And all he wants to do is make his Papa proud. But all he had to do was take out the trash. Take out the trash and Bowser will be happy. Okay, you can only imagine that it'd be tough to be Bowser's son. Like, I, I feel him, I, I, like that, that, may, that makes sense where uh, Bowser Jr.'s struggles come in. So this is an interesting little puzzle area. And it looks like I need to push this block across here. There's a lot going on. The puzzles are definitely ramped up in this world, and that's pretty cool. I just gotta keep pressing over and over and over again, though. Um, so what did that really do for me, though? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I see. Do that again. I definitely see what we gotta do. We gotta push this across onto that wooden platform. Well, actually, I think we want it on this one. And then, yeah, I don't want to be over there because then I'll be trapped. But if I'm like this, yes, that's exactly what I wanted. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter on which one it would have been on. I could have just kept pushing it. Uh, do that and then push. There we go. So now there's something over here that we've gotten access to. Is this a secret or not? Is that like mandatory? I guess figuring this puzzle out was mandatory. Interesting. Even though there is stuff over here. 
that I definitely can't reach right now. And I don't see how I could reach it. Hmm, weird. Anyways, we're gonna go this way or that way? Oh, that's a battle, so we're not going that way just yet. And can we go this way at all? We can't. Hmm, so there's definitely some kind of wraparound going on here at some point or another. Or if right now we got a battle? What is this guy? He's got like a weird Koopa shell. Oh no. What is this thing? Uh, oh no. Yeah, what is he? I don't like him. He's got like bombs he throws and he heals too? He's a healer. I don't like that. <laughs> he is the supporter. Heals who heal. Interesting. <sighs> Defeat him. So we get to go against the supporter now. See how they end up working. I collected some data on supporters. While they're not great fighters, they are expert healers. Moreover, even if their weapons don't heal much damage, uh, they're prone to trigger super effects. Beware. Interesting. So we're gonna prepare for battle, of course, first by we upgrading our weapons. I think that once again, how much damage does, uh, oh, we're on the wrong place. Yes, uh, weapon. So Mario has this right here, which does 55 to 65 damage, and he doesn't really have too much that's better, except for this, which does the same amount of base damage, but it is good against supporters, so that makes it tempting on its own. And also does bounce out, which I don't like as much as honey, but we already have a character that does honey, so maybe we should try this out, especially against supporters. Let's give it a shot. We have still over a thousand coins left over, so, and also his secondary, but I don't wanna, like we haven't been using his secondary enough to upgrade it. Like if we look here, and there is some upgrades we can get for some pricey amounts, but once again, if we're not using it, I don't think it's worth it. And then we can do something for her, but once again, it doesn't offer a damage upgrade, so I just don't think it's worth it right now. And then Luigi, he can't get anything right now, so we definitely need some new weapons coming in, because right now, we don't really have anything that would be stronger, so I'll just save my cash. I could get something for Rab Rabbit Luigi here. Uh, I just don't know if it would really be worth it. Anyways, uh, skill tree. Um, so he has 45 points. What does he really have that might be worth it? We got this, one thing we got is power boost over here. And can I upgrade any of this? I can. So what do we got over here? I haven't really explored this other section. Uh, pipe exit range. Uh, increases Mario's area of movement upon entering a pipe. Ooh, so, or exiting a pipe. So you get more movement if you use pipes. Uh, Mario gets more health points from mushrooms. That's nice, but I don't think exactly necessary. Uh, extra health increases Mario's maximum number of health points. That could be helpful. That could prove very useful. What else do we have though? We have increased the stomp jump damage. Uh, heroes overcome by a super effect. Yeah, we've read that one. Increases Mario area of movement after a stomp jump. That could be helpful as well. These are very hard to choose from. I think we wanna do the, uh, I don't know though. We definitely need more damage and we need more mobility most of the time, unless it's a reach and area specific thing. But if that's the case, we should focus that towards Luigi. Either way, we'll get that. Now she has 45 points. What were we saving for her? Um, We wanted to increase her healing. So her mega heal can be upgraded now, so we might as well do that. Now she only has five left over. When it comes to Luigi, he has 25 points. We can in increase the damage dealt when performing a dash. We can, hmm, increases the range of team jump. We can't afford that one, but we've already done it once before. Increase the damage dealt by Luigi while holding higher ground. Gives Luigi more coins upon a successful, I don't want the successful golden shot. Uh, I don't really care about that too much. Like coins are helpful, but I get a lot of them as it is. Adds to Luigi's area of movement. That is a good one. Increases Luigi's area of movement upon, okay, let's do extra movement for Luigi. And that's some decent little upgrades right there. And hopefully we can get like characters fully maxed out. I can only imagine that's how it's gonna work, right? Anyways, um, we're good to fight. I think. So let's, let's let's see, we got the hopper over here, we got a Ziggy over there, and we got a hopper over there, and then a supporter. So they have a grenade, which means they can lob it. Oh, lobbing skills. So that means maybe he could throw it up in the air, land it about here, and it doesn't need to worry about hitting the barrier because you're throwing it over the barrier. I wonder if that's how that works, since it's more of a grenade kind of thing. So I think that, we might as well do some of this kind of stuff, increase everybody's movement a little bit. We're also going to 
increase their power? I don't know if powers increase is actually a good idea right now. Maybe we should just go ahead and get the uh, hero sight. So get that. And then as Rabbit Peach first off, because we can get some easy slide attacks going on. Not a ton. I wish we could actually get a little more done here. Um, but I could just have her hide like here. And, and that's some decent protection. And then she can 100% hit that dude. Okay, something. Boom. And then, ready, just go ahead and smack this dude. Bada bing, bada boom. That's so easy. <laughs> I'm glad that the, like, you know, one thing that's interesting is that characters are a little bit different every time we go to a new area. So that's really cool in my opinion. Um, so Luigi can go ahead and do that. And then maybe land somewhere safer. This would be a nice safe spot to land. So let's do that, nice. Yeah, that's a really good spot to land. I like that. And then we could have him finish you off. Mario can do this. It wouldn't finish him off though, I don't think. It would not, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Instead, I could have Mario not quite land up here, but 165 damage. Ooh, we should, we should hammer him. We should definitely hammer him. See how that works out. So do this, and then Mario is gonna use his hammer on Yoon. It's not gonna finish him off. Will that do more damage? Looks like it'll do about the same. Uh, sure, why not though? Boom, 58. That was pretty good. Um, We'll pull out your shield just in case because it seems like you might actually end up needing it. And then we could either take care of the Ziggy or take care of the Hopper. The Ziggy isn't gonna do as much damage as the Hopper, so we might as well take care of the Hopper. Ready, bada boom, bada bing. Nice. I know, I keep using the same sound effects over and over and I gotta stop doing that. But yeah, I was talking about earlier in today's episode, what kind of characters that aren't currently in the, you know, Mario and Rabbids roster would you like to see added? Would you like to see a normal and of course Rabbids version of Wario and Waluigi? Maybe something like Toad. It would be cool to see a Rabbid Toad, you know? That kind of stuff would be fun. So Mario did finish somebody off with his hero site there, which is really good. So we only have two characters to worry about right now, and that is the supporter and I think this Hopper. He's gonna heal, right? No, he's actually gonna lob up that, and that is very painful. They said he didn't do a lot of attacks, but I disagree. Okay, so, and then he heals. Okay, well, it healed himself more than it did his buddy, because his buddy really was fine. But we could go through here, and I could dash Yoon. I mean, maybe I shouldn't make him move, Mario move just yet. Maybe I should make Rapid Peach go somewhere around this area, and also pick up a bunch of coins. Go like this. Robin Peach will be here. And then what we'll do is get Mario, who is right here. Oh, he can't slide it. Wait, no, okay, I'm doing this wrong. Uh, Boom. Slide attack you to ruin your shield. Bound, no, 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 no! I keep doing that, I hate that. I wanted to bounce off of, oh, you stinker. That really just destroyed a lot of what I was about to do. That is the worst. Okay, well, you know what then? I'm gonna get Luigi to activate this. I'm gonna get Luigi around here and just so that Mario can do his damage boost and we're just gonna beat up on these dudes. Cause it could have been way more strategic. I could have bounced off a rabbit peach and then bounced off that rabbit just to you know get some extra damage in there really easy. But not this time, I guess. Um, So who do I wanna hit here? And I think I gotta get rid of this healer, so let's just go ahead and smack you. Boom. Critical as well, wow, you are flying. And Luigi's gonna finish him off. Wow, that was insane. Wait, is he still kicking? He has four health left? Wow, I don't like it. Well, we need to finish him off, because if not, he's gonna heal his friends. And I don't like it. So boom, finish you off like that. Golden shot. Okay, so. Luigi still has, ha has his attack, and I guess that's what we should really try then. Boom. That stings out, wasn't able to finish him off though. I'm really bummed about that. And we'll heal people up with uh, Rabbit Peach because we're about to finish things up, I think. Where are you gonna move, dude? You're not gonna do too much. You're gonna blast Luigi, the poor guy. And then you're running off this way. Is that all you're gonna do? Okay, we just won, I think. See, this is actually, maybe it's because we went back through World 1 and got some stuff done. And like, you know, like we got everything perfected and we did some extra battles. Maybe because of that, we are just buffer than we're supposed to be because things actually haven't been too bad. And then let's just finish you off. Yep, just like that. And we win. Cool.
It hasn't been super crazy challenging, and maybe I'm just getting a little better at the game too, which I hope, 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 because it's gonna be, you know, much harder. So if I could get my strategy up there, that'd be good. I'm still undecided on if we'll go back and perfect everything in World 2, whatever we mess up. So far, I haven't messed anything up though, so who knows? Oh, hey, look, it's Rabbit Mario. He was in the ice cube there. Oh, hey, Toad. How are you? We were trying to find you, you know. Wow, am I glad that you two came along. Toadette got herself lost again. No, you're lost. Funny, she said the same thing about you. <laughs> or did she now? Well, um, in any case, we'd better go find her. It won't be easy, the area ahead is very dangerous. But if you safely escort me back to Toadette, I'll make sure you get an even bigger reward this time. We already know where she is. Uh, we are not a delivery service, we have important work to do. Oh, of course, I just thought you might be interested in this. Oh, I couldn't figure out how to get it out of here. I'm not so good with puzzles, I'm afraid. But maybe you'll have more luck. I'll even carry it back for you, deal? Okay, an ally of our fight is against, an ally in our fight against Bowser Jr. Mr. Toad, you have have yourself a deal. So we're about to unlock Robin and Mario, I guess. That's very cool. That means our party's gonna get bigger, whoopee! So we're just gonna slide, he's gonna get squished. Toads can't handle that weight. I mean, maybe I'm downing the poor toad and that's not something I should do. But I just don't think he can. Anyways, we're gonna go over here first and it looks like there's some stuff to find. By doing so, first off, a music piece, that's very cool. And if we go through this pipe, what? Is, where is this gonna bring us? Hopefully somewhere good? Uh, here. Wow, there is a lot going on. Um, There is another statue we can't do much about. There's a little corridor down here. Okay, sure, I'll get a bunch of free coins, nice. And what, what could we inspect here? Oh, there's some sleeping rabbits. Not a care in the world, wouldn't that be nice? Well, yeah, we gotta worry about the universe imploding, right, something like that. And then what's up here? We got more stuff we can't quite do. Some kind of move we don't have access to to unlock something over here. So this stuff right here, what purpose does it serve? Can I just, yeah, I can push it into the water. Thought as much. Nope, here, boom. Boom, 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 nope, wrong thing. It's very easy to slide off it. Like, oddly enough, it's harder than it looks. Uh, push, 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 nice. Okay, so what is this gonna be? Another not so crazy thing? No, it's gonna be something pretty cool. Oh, 10 power orbs, we've only gotten five from that so far, so it's cool that we got 10 now. And another mushroom, we're not gonna need that other one. At least not yet, what we should probably do then is if we have that other mushroom hanging around, we should probably, you know, like, if we can find a way to access it, hold on to it, come back here when we're super low on health and not sure if we'll survive. If it'll let us do that, we might not be able to leave an area once we enter, like, a uh, an extra area. I don't know how that'll work. I've never tried backtracking that much. So, how can we get this thing over there? I think the best bet would be to push it like this, start it off like that, Nice and good. Yeah, maybe? No, well, well no, I can get something done with this because, yeah, where does this, this goes straight like this. We need to land there. How can I do that? Because from here we can do this, and then that, and then this, and then that. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Boom. So that's gonna open this up. And what will this have besides just a mushroom that we won't pick up if we can avoid it? I don't think we can avoid it, actually. Oh, look at us, look at us. <laughs> and we get more power orbs, awesome. We get 20 of them this time. So we've gotten 30 within the last couple of seconds. Um, now the only problem is that I don't see any kind of block that can get rid of this. I mean, I guess we don't need it. Oh, you know what, probably once we hop back down here. So now we just gotta figure this out and it's actually really easy to do so, just do that. And we got it. I am so surprised he didn't get squished. And that will unlock that, cool. So let's head down there, and we got another battle on our hands, or hooves. I don't have hands, but you might have hands, so you know what? We're relating. Uh, wow, you guys did it! <laughs> it just sort of sits on his head, I don't really get it. Guess I've gotta keep my end of the bargain, huh? I'll carry your friend here for you while you help me reunite with Toden. Okay, are you sure you can carry it by yourself? Of course, I work out. Plus, my head is very well insulated. I don't, I don't even feel chilly. Well then, I suggest we waste no time in reuniting you with your less directionally impaired buddy. 
For the, for the sooner we do, the sooner our Ice Sensor ally can join us in the fight against Bowser. Okay. This is a weird game. This is just a genuinely, genuinely weird game. So it just he just follows us around. I so wish that Toad could join us as like an actual character that battles. That'd be really fun. Escort Toad. Oh, so this is a new mission. We have to escort Toad. I'm probably guessing ensure that he does not get hurt. How can we make him move then? Like I don't really know how that works. Protect Toad. He's unarmed, so he can't attack. Only move. Okay. It's up to you to make sure Toad reaches the other side of the battlefield safe and sound. Enemies will keep spawning. If Toad takes too much damage, you lose. Okay, so let's go, go ahead and take a look at everything. We have one, we have a Ziggy here, a Ziggy there, and a Ziggy here, a Ziggy there. So it's all Ziggies, and basically our goal will probably be to go through this pipe, pop out of here, and just try to cut across there. That doesn't seem like that big of a distance. Can we control him? Can we make him bounce and the like? That'd be good. Hmm. I think I want to hold on to everything for right now. What did we want for Marion? I mean, stomp damage, stomp damage. Uh, We did actually get more stomp damage. We could get even more. You know what, sure, we've been using that move so much, I'm sure it'll be helpful. There we go. When it comes to weapon selection, we have over a thousand coins. The problem right now isn't that you know, we need more coins, is that we need more weapon selection. So, I'm not gonna worry about that too much right now. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the battle. Hopefully good things happen. Um, everybody's in good health. Here's the thing, so can I move Toad? I can move Toad. Now Toad can't do anything spectacular in the terms that he can't jump and he can't, uh, he just can't do any of that kind of stuff. I'm just trying to find out where we should hide him. I think we should hide him here, but like, I don't know, it's like he can get hit from so many different angles. I guess Toad should hide right here. And then, oh, maybe I should have done that. So next turn we're doing that. So can she bounce off of him? No, she can't. So maybe first, before we do anything, we should just have characters attack this one Ziggy and see if we can't get rid of him. Ready? Okay, that was a good starting shot, 56 damage. I could actually have a character go over there. I could do that, and why I wanna do that is maybe just, you know, as sort of assurance that they're distracted and dealing with more and important things to them, but not so as to us. Okay, I'll start this up nice and ready. And then same thing with Luigi, we will get him probably around here. Or maybe wait, since he can move farther, we'll have him like around here. And then, can his thing reach Toad from here? It cannot. Okay, that was a bit of a mistake. Hmm, oh, we'll just do this. Let's play. That's what we're doing, we're doing a let's play on this game. Let's get rid of you, because you can attack Toad from right here. So we can't damage you, unfortunately. We could get her. I wish that she could do that thing where she lands on people. But there's a Smasher over there, so would I really want to even do that? From here, I can hit you. It's not a 100% chance, but it would be nice if it was. But there's a Smasher waiting over there. That's gonna actually be really bad. <laughs> oh no. So okay, so our best bet is to have you attack him, and it hits the shield. Thanks. Uh, that's all we got then. I think that's where we want to end it. All right, enemy's turn. They're just gonna attack the toad. At least he is. It's gonna do 40 damage. It's a lot of damage, but Luigi ain't gonna let you get away with it. That's for sure. So he can actually hide in that zone. He's gonna do a little doofy dance. Oh boy. So you're gonna miss your shot. Your 100, your zero percent chance shot. Why did you even, you know, set that up? I don't know. Wow, what a critical. That was really good. So he's down to seven health. He's not gonna be able to do too much. There's no supporters around either, so. They just have to deal with the health that, you know, they are lowered with. Okay, I don't like this at all. Hmm. So. I don't know, I guess Luigi should move back over here. And, and why I want him to do that is so that he can actually get this distance boost to Toad. So he's gonna do that. It's just gonna boost Toad, but it's better than nothing. And then you're gonna move wherever you can, which really, once again, isn't too many good spots. Right here is our best spot we can move it to. Mario can do a couple things, and I think the best thing we can have him do is move here, and let's see if we can't get him to attack that one rabbit. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot about him having that. Oh, and you having that. Mario, are you okay right now, dude? Like, how much health do you have? You still have a decent amount, actually. We have a 50% chance of hitting you, but we have a... We gotta hit you, then. Nice, and it bounced him. That's really good. And it was enough to take him out, too. That's really what I wanted, because now Toad doesn't have as many people attacking him. Hmm. I wish this Toad could bounce off of people. Not really, he can't really. All right, we're gonna heal. All right then, so who can she attack? Uh, I'm messing this up. <laughs> All right, let's go to him, Luigi here. Got a 50% chance of hitting him. I wanna hit him though. What'll happen if I do this? Will this hit him, the Smasher? It won't, it'll critical him and defeat him. All right, the Smasher is getting closer, which I don't like. I almost wish that Mario would have attacked him. What can I do about that? I mean, my best bet then would be to land somewhere. Oh, maybe I could land over here. And... But I wouldn't be in the attack range of the Smasher them. So while this will hurt, it might be worth doing. Um, I just attack you, just to keep you away from the Toad. But you're honeyed, that is a perfect critical. Oh gosh, that was amazing. We're gonna end this turn. You have seven health. I'm not really too worried about you. You're gonna get 100% land a shot. Why is that a, oh yeah, that I guess that sort of makes sense. That's 100% for you, but 50 for me. Sort of stinky, but I can deal with stinky. So he's no longer honey. There are new rabbits popping up. So where is Toad? If Toad was to go through the pipe right now, he would not be able to make it. And that is the worst thing ever. So we just gotta get Toad to hide like right here. I wish you could bounce off of people. That would make it so much easier. So really, um, not, neither of them can reach this dude, which I don't like. Uh, but we could still do something about it. I could get you here. Let's get you here, actually. That'd be better. Just like that. Then I want Mario to damage boost the both of the, these characters, if they can. Yes, he can. So let's do that. Mario, you're doing good. And then, we're gonna have you bounce off of her, land on him, and then, I guess, I don't really know where I want him, I guess just right here. So now, we got some good options happening, and if this works out the way I want it to, we should be pretty safe for getting Toad where he needs to be. So first off, we could probably finish him off soon. I want you, th though, to attack him. I don't know, I hope he doesn't move towards the pipe. Oh, he does though. All right, well that stinks. That really stinks. Has Luigi moved? He actually hasn't, so Luigi could just simply run away here. Okay. And then we could end the turn that way, because this Smasher really isn't that close to the Toad, I don't think, unless he is. Oh, he is. I hate you so much right now, Mr. Smasher. Oh, come on. I'm glad you work out, Toad, you're gonna need it. Ah, no! No, no, no! What? What? I would be, I'm that mad too, Rabbit Peach. What the heck? That was so just unfair. It might sound silly, but at this point, I'm just gonna go like this. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna slide attack this dude, and then I'm gonna attack the Smasher. Jeez, they just don't give up. Um. And why I'm gonna do that is because I just need him to get away from there because the smasher is what makes this difficult. Everybody else is like, not that big of a deal. Um, okay, well we knocked him out of bounds. That wasn't enough to take him out, but where is he now? Or was it? No, it wasn't. Come on, I wish he would still run over. Where is he now? Um, He's over there, which actually isn't that great of a position for him to be in. But how much health does he have? If we uh switch to Yoon, and has 110, which is still a lot of health. I mean, what is our best bet here then? I would imagine it's still attacking him. If we, we need to take him out. The Smasher is who we need to absolutely take out. If he had 75 damage and he had 110 health, that means he has, what, 35 health left? So Rabbit Peach could take care of him right now, depending on the situation. Let's see. Um. Yeah, I think she could just walk up and blast him. Maybe a waste of some movement spaces, but I think that's fine, and it was a critical. 
All right, so he is a problem that's gone. I'm glad to see. There are still other problems here that we will have to deal with, but they aren't immediate. So first off, Toad, how about you hide here? And then Luigi, I think I might need you to take an extra bounce to this location and then to here. And then let's see what we can do about this. What, what moves does Luigi have available right now? Does he, he does have this. He's already attacked, so he can't do too much more than this, so our best bet right now is just to finish the turn, I think. So let's do that. This has been a tough level, though. This one's caught me by surprise with how tough it is compared to all the other levels. Nice, so that finished him off, which is sort of what I wanted. And then, there's you, who is gonna hit Mario, but as long as there's no like crazy criticals happening, we should be okay, 44 is okay. Oh geez, actually, I, I, I Mario could die here, and if that's the case, I don't wanna reset again, but I might have to. Please don't hit Mario, please don't hit Mario. Instead you're hitting Luigi, you missed, haha. -ha. But now you're doing your stinking thing again, okay. Mario needs to be in a better position, for sure. Um, well, I think the best way for Mario to accomplish that is, how far can Mario run from here? He can run actually pretty far. So Luigi, I'm gonna have you run to here. Or maybe, can Mario run out that far? He can't. But he can run out this far. Cause I need him to, oh, but Luigi can't, okay. Well then our best bet is to get him here. Or here. Let's try here. Luigi, oh yeah, I keep forgetting that he has that. Cause we need Rabbit Peach to get some heals out. How far can Rabbit Peach go right now? If you go through the pipe and go here, and he should, she should actually be able to get some decent heals out, so that'll be good. I'm gonna get her here though, just in case she needs to land 100% shot. Actually, sometimes one space can be the difference between landing it and not landing it, so I need to be as diligent with it as possible. So now, there is a character over Mario. You can't hit them though. So it's good just to ignore them. And instead, go like that, bounce off of this jerk, and then just land here and churn. Um, boom, boom, boom. So just one of these characters has to land something on him. For now though, let's heal. I don't think uh, Toad has taken a single point of damage, which is good. Come please land, thank you. That makes this a whole lot easier. Like a whole lot easier. And then you can't land that from here. So we might as well try this because it's, you know they're gonna have to come from that way anyways, because that's the only way over here. From there, unless they bounce, but I don't think he's a Ziggy, he can't bounce, so unless a uh, hopper spawns from there. But now we just have Toad. So I think, we, I think we've got it one this time, which would be great. And then I can go back and pick up the mushroom I really need right now. Okay, and then that's it. So let's just end this turn and hope everything works out as well as it possibly can. So that is actually a supporter, which honestly I couldn't care less about. These guys are gonna attack this, which is totally fine with me. Couldn't care less about it. They're gonna get healed, but they can't do much from here. So now it's our turn. This is gonna move closer and hopefully explode these jerks. Look at this. Bada bing. Okay, only one of them. But that takes that one out. It's only a supporter to worry about. And I'm not worried about it because we can switch to Toad and then just win this bad boy. Oh, that was that was tough. That was real tough. My goal was to see if I can't get to the mid boss in today's episode. That way, maybe we could do two worlds, I mean, half a world an episode, two episodes per world, something like that. I don't know, though. We'll have to see. Okay, well, we did okay. We did okay. And we're gonna have almost 2,000 coins. That's insane. But at this point, I am definitely running on the steam. But that was, that was the end of that level. So we don't actually have to worry about it too much more than that because we got ourselves a heal. So we do wrap around here, which is great to see. And there's still some questions to be answered about what has to be done, but for right now, we've answered as much as we can. I still don't know how to get over there, but I'm sure that answer will come across at some point. Okay, going this way. Coins, I got coins. So we ran into Bowser Jr. here last time. Uh, did I get all the coins? I guess I did. I don't like this fixed camera. Oh no, we're, we're still not leaving in two four, huh? All right, well, we'll always do two four in today's episode, two four squ square one. Yeah, it definitely feels like it. 
And now it's a battle zone again. So it's the same thing, but backwards. That's actually an interesting concept. But once again, it's escorting Toad. Ugh, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. <laughs> so a lot of these levels though, so far have been like one level, like worlds, you know, like one battle levels. That's what I really should say. Some of them are multiple battles, but recently it seems like it's been one battle per level. Um, let's prepare for battle a little bit because we do have some things we can do. First off, check out our weapon selection. Still not too much going on here, I don't think. Um, that's not, I can't believe that's not a damage boost for her. But it is good against smashers, so honestly that might be worth considering it just for that. And it has honey damage, absolutely then, we're gonna buy that. Because it has the same thing I like here, but it's also just good against smashers, so I like that a lot, now that I think about it. Nothing here. We don't have to care about Rabbit Luigi too much. I mean, we could get a better secondary for Mario if nothing else is popping up. I might as well, right? So what do we got here? These are the higher tier damages. We get, we're we gonna get the, the honey. Honey is so good. I like it better than bounce because bounce is definitely a more chancy thing where it's like, even if you're lucky enough to get the bounce, it might not really do anything super crazy for you. It might actually position an enemy somewhere you don't want them to be. But the honey is gonna keep them stuck, which is almost always good. I, don't, I haven't seen a, you know, a situation where it's bad. All right, Mario doesn't have too many points. We could just get Rabbit Peach to be able to heal more and just wait out for that. Weapon parry, improves shield ability, increases heals range of effectiveness. We could do this as well. Let's do that for now. And then we gotta just focus on making sure it heals a lot. Uh, Luigi has a lot of options as well. Increases range of team jump. Um, we could increase his dash damage. We could, um, hmm, I wish it was just like a, Increased range or, I don't know. Uh, Steely Stair takes less turns to recharge. That sounds actually pretty good, but I don't have a close to enough for that. Um, hmm, increases, okay. Actually, that sounds really good, because we use this so much, and we might as well. Okay, that's good. Good, 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 good stuff. Let's, oh, I always do that, don't I? Back, and let's, let's take a look at our battle situation here. So we need to get, all the way over here, and no, not even all, all the way over there, all the way over there, and not fun. And then there's not too much helpful stuff going on. What is on fire? Oh, it's a bullet bill. Hmm. What I don't like about it is the fact that Toad can't jump off of anything. So we really need to be nitty gritty about it, and I think the best thing is to do something similar we did last time where Mario goes out into the field of battle, so we could have Mario jump off of Luigi and start handling things over here, and Peach is gonna be our Rabbit Peach is always gonna be next to Toad because that way, you know, the heal is always available. And then Luigi stays sort of in the back line to uh, distract Smashers and to get some sniper damage. Sounds like the best plan we could possibly conjure. And let's get over here and, and I can't land on you. Maybe if I did it from you because you're technically one space closer. This game doesn't love me sometimes. Uh, I might just wanna do Mario's power boost now. Let's do a power boost. I wish Toad could attack, that would be awesome, but he can't. Um, also what we could do, I think we actually, maybe we could make this work. One, plus one cell move, does that count for bounces as well? Cause if so, we just made it work. Boom, it does not, that stinks. That's really, really stinky. Hmm, I might as well have you hide right here. And we'll use the new hammer. And it should do some good damage. Not enough to finish you off, actually it will. Oh, bada bing. Ready, swish. There you go. That was really good. So one shot KO on the Ziggies with the hammer. Now the hammer is very strong, and that's really sh how it should be. The secondary should be much stronger, but harder to find a situation where it actually is worth landing. Um, so I'm gonna end up having Luigi around here. I think that'll be good, because this is gonna be a position I think he'll stay in for a little bit. And then, not quite yet. Rabbit Peach can't do too much about this, which I don't like. Oh, we're playing as Toad right now. Uh, oh, actually, no, she can, good. Cause I can have her do that, I can have her bounce here, and, and then, yeah. Cause at this point, she can full on attack this rabbit, finish him off, and then, I think Luigi has 100% shot here? Not on him, but him, he does indeed. But we could do this instead. Are these both supporters? Yes, they are, they're both supporters. Hmm. I wish it, I mean, it does do a good amount of damage. It might be worth trying, let's try it. Toad is a little bit far back, but that's fine. 
Um, we're gonna get a shield up for her because I feel like she is gonna get attacked here. Then finally, Toad could move a bit more forward, but instead, I mean, okay, let's get him here. I don't think it'll be that bad to have him here. Enemies are gonna attack now, and he's gonna run into that, and he does get hit by it, but it doesn't do as much as I was really hoping. So what are you doing? You're gonna move where he was. And yeah, once again, look, there is like, normally that would be visually not good for any other kind of attack. I really hope that like Yoshi has like an egg throw that has something like that, because that seems like a lot of fun and adds a lot of strategy and like depth. Okay. So Mario's gonna actually start coming back here. Um, but I don't think I actually wanna do that just yet, because what I could do instead is I could slide attack Yoon, slide attack Yoon, and then just wait here and blast you in the face. Or I mean, I could do that from here too. It's gonna do the same amount of damage. Um, boom, boom. And then why I wanna do that is so that Mario can come back here. Um, Mario. And you could do something similar. You could, or not. I always mess something up, don't I? Oh my gosh, I'm the worst. What can Luigi do then? Maybe Luigi, no, I can't believe I messed all of that up. All right, Luigi, you're gonna attack this person, I think, but first you're gonna activate this, because I'm sure it'll be helpful in this situation. But in the meantime, you're gonna slide attack that person and wait here. Because I was gonna have, you know, Mario bounce off a of rabid peach, land on the one guy, slide attack the other one. But first off, you just do what you need to do. Boom, that must have hurt, right? And then I'm just worried about you because you just aren't in a good position. So I'm just gonna have you hide there. And Mario, you do what you can, I guess. Uh, Where can he have a chance of landing an attack on that guy back there? I guess nowhere. And so I guess it, it's fine just to have you like here. Because like, I'm sure that more people are gonna be spawning in soon if there aren't more. Well, there aren't for sure because these are the only two guys that moved. Uh, First off, just attack you. And then, oh, that was a critical two, which means Luigi's gonna come on with the follow-up. That's really good. Will it finish him off then? Because these guys have so much health, it's insane. Mario and Luigi are definitely my two favorite party members. Like, Princess Rabbit Peach right now is great, but like, when it comes to getting the job done, Mario and Luigi just do a really good job. Like, I don't know how I'm ever gonna change or improve this team at this point. Either way, I think we're good. I don't think I wanna use that heal just yet. I just wanna end the turn and hope that you attack one of our three and not Toad. Because if you do that, Mario might go for you. That's gonna hurt. Uh, whoa, whoa, what is that? Oh, there's some people starting to spawn in. So first off, you could just go like that and then bounce off of Luigi and get over here. Because I don't think we want him over here. I think we want to make him go through this pipe. So let's get that. So that's a honey box. So if they were to explode that box, it would um honey Mario, which we don't want. Now Luigi, we could try to get something done with you, or Mario, can you reach Luigi right now? You can't. So I think it's better just to slide attack you and make you bounce like that, and maybe even have you land around here. Let's try from here, because this seems to be a nice height advantage. And that's due to the thing that we didn't get the first time we went through this level, is we did not have the height advantage. Now we do. We can use that in various different ways. Okay, so Mario, it's up to you maybe to finish him off. You can't quite get him from here, but you could just land here. And that also means somebody's keeping Toad company, because Toad hasn't made much movements right now. So let's go ahead and blast you. He's like, no, don't. We're doing it, buddy. Get out of here, you punk. All right, Toad. It's time for you to move so that we can figure out what options you have, which isn't a ton. We can get you here. I would get him over here. It might be a little bit safer, but I think it'll save him some movement spaces if he starts here next turn. All right, to Rabbit Peach, like there's just nobody to actually do much with right now. So I think what we could do is, who would get healed right now? Nobody, so it's not worth doing. All right, so this guy's gonna hop out, and of course he is my favorite, the Smasher. <sighs> and there's another one getting ready to pop up. Where is he popping up from? He's gonna pop up here, which is actually the worst case scenario. Um, Then maybe we should do our backup plan. Like, where, where, does, where does this go? This goes all the way out there. I think then maybe we should have Toad go through here and have him hide here. We're still so far away, it's insane. But it's gonna be hard for them to get up there, which is a good thing. We could have you hop over like this. 
And you're not going to be covered by anything, but it might be worth it. And then we want you to go over here. And I know there's going to be something unpleasant popping out of the ground there, of course. But in the meantime, we're going to have you jump. And can you land over here? Why, why are you bringing the camera, game? I was hoping that, you know, we could get a better situation than this, but I guess you could just be ready and waiting for you to hop out, because they don't really get to move too much. Oh, no, do they get to make a move after they hop out of the ground? I sure hope not, because that just feels unfair. We can't hit him, which is a stinky thing. Maybe I should have used Luigi's thing here. Either way, we're gonna make him, we're gonna make Luigi move. Just somewhere and good, hopefully. Where is the Smasher? He's way off this way. So I could either snipe him, do some good damage that way, or try to throw the sentry at him for later use. Because we couldn't land this. We, of course, we can also land this. This would do some guaranteed more damage too, which is good, because we need to take care of this guy as soon as possible. And if that's the best we can do, then I think that's where we're gonna finish the turn, because there's just not too much more we can do. Okay, so he's just a Ziggy. Not afraid of that at all. And of course, he's gonna do some damage, which is gonna be, you know, a pain in the butt, but beyond that, it's really just nothing. Because Mario could literally just walk up to him and hammer him, and he'd be fine. Hmm. So the Smasher is moving closer. So is the bomb. Yep, just like that. Boom, it is gonna hit him. 87 damage ain't too bad. It's in the lower spectrum of what that thing can do them. Hmm. I think we might want to get this prepared for Luigi. This is where it gets really iffy. I just don't know really what my options are right now, but I think Toad wants to hop down here. Maybe that was bad. We'll find out. Um, Mario has a 0% chance of hitting you? Why don't I believe that? Hmm. I wish I could like move, attack, and then move. That'd be so much more helpful right now. Because there's just not too much I can do from here. Uh... Because we need to keep everybody moving as much as possible. So I think I should just get him through here. And... Oh, you have that? Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, why didn't he slide him? Are you kidding me? That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, what a stinker. And that's a 0% chance of landing, of course. Pretty obvious. Hmm. And she can't land anything from here. I almost want her to go through there and beat him up. I mean, that might just be what I have to do. Get him through here and slide attack you. And then just probably just wait by this entrance or wait around here and... Wait here, and... okay. And then just attack him, turn around and attack him. If it's the best we can do, it's the best we can do. And then hit him. And that's one less thing to worry about. Of course, you honey him, but not the actual Smasher, I wanna attack Smasher with her because that would be great, but haven't run into that opportunity yet. All right, so the Smasher is moving across here. Luigi actually has his, I actually haven't been using Luigi at all. So I'm gonna actually get Luigi as far as I can over here. This would move him backwards, which I do not want. So I'm gonna try to distract the Smasher and hopefully he will move to his left, our right. So the, the, the route farther away from the camera right now, hopefully that's the way he moves. I mean, I don't really know how that is decided, but at least, ooh, this is gonna hurt Luigi in the long run, I have a feeling, but for right now, oh gosh, poor Luigi. I hope he turns out okay out of all this. Um, And then Toad has moved, so that's our turn for right now. Luigi is gonna get destroyed here. Like, he's gonna get so hurt. I still don't understand why the Smasher can sometimes just do a double attack for no gosh darn reason, like that's so unfair. But let's see, will he do it this time? No, he's just gonna, oh, he gets his super powerful attack, and he's gonna smash. Wow, 136! That's so much! It is so much, it's too much! I don't wanna think about it. Oh no. I feel like Rabbit Peach isn't really in the best of positions, but I think this is the best we can do for right now. It's just Toad moves so little amounts, it's infuriating, but we'll heal him up. As much as we can get a heal for him, we'll move Toad. Even though Luigi really, really needs a heal right now. I mean, what could we really do? We could get him just to simply slide attack. 
I mean, even though this will only improve Luigi, I think we need to get Luigi the heck out of here. So let's do this. And then we're going to slide attack Yoon. Oh, we can't, maybe that's not a good idea just yet then. We're gonna move to Mario. And, oh, man, I can't get Mario over there. This is a 100% chance of hitting him though. So maybe that's just what I need. Go ahead and blast this dude. Get rid of him. We've perfected everything so far in today's episode. I mean, I could have Luigi go through the pipe. I don't know why I haven't thought about that. Um, Just go through the pipe and hide over here. And then, wow. wow. If Mario, Mario could use this. That might be good. And then Luigi, can you snipe him from here? So this is the only target right now that is definitely gonna change soon. So maybe we should just do this instead. This might be a really bad idea because it might just explode on Mario and I'll be very upset if it actually does do that. But that's really the extent of this turn we can manage. So we're gonna be done. Okay, so another Smasher. I'm not incredibly surprised. What are you gonna do? You're gonna honey him. Really not good. Well, he's gonna attack you. Doesn't really do too much more than that, and then the Smasher's gonna move. Which is sort of good, because that right there, that is the bottleneck to the entrance to the exit. <laughs> like that, the way, the, the, the area he is standing in right now is the only way to get there. So we could move over here and maybe hit him. And if, if so, that'd be great, because it would, no, nah, he's out of range, that stinks. That really stinks. Who can Luigi hit? He could hit him. Let's try it. Oh, I can't believe we hit the barrier there. Are you kidding me? I think Luigi needs to get on high ground then. Like, Luigi just needs to be as safe as can be. No, I wanted to get up here and, and then do that. I think we'll definitely be done after this level though, because this is very extraneous on the brain. On my zebra brain. The Smasher shouldn't be able to get over here from here. Mario can't really do anything, so I guess our turn is over. This is turning out really bad, really quick. So you're just gonna attack that thing, and that's it? Okay, get your shield out, and then the Smasher. Where is he gonna move? Hopefully he moves, you know, south a bit, and then this will at least get rid of your annoying shield. That's good. All right, Marion, you have an okay amount of health, enough to get something done. If you power boost, you'll only be power boosting yourself, but it's still better than nothing. So let's go ahead and try to like, tuck you here. And now that you're all tucked in and ready for bed, you're gonna blast this dude and hit his head. There you go. The only problem is that there is definitely a problem happening over here. So my best bet is to sneak over this way See if this, is this in range to hit the Smasher? It is literally one block off, and that is infuriating. Um, I think Tony needs to run backwards here, because I don't know where that Smasher is going to move. I don't want him to move somewhere that's gonna ruin us. Um, of course, this will not reach, but we can maybe move, I, I, I don't want to move him out this way, but do I have too many other choices? It sure doesn't look like it. So let's try to move him back out. I don't think he can do too much more, so after this, we're gonna go ahead and activate that. And then, that's about all we can do. We can get a shield on you just in case he does attack her. Probably won't. Maybe it was not good to activate that. He's gonna move closer. And he is definitely focusing on the toad. But I think that if we do attack him right now, just like that, he will move to our right, or he'll get honeyed, which ain't too bad. Can you snipe him from here? No, but that's fine, because what we could do is increase everybody's range. Or no, that was just mine, <laughs> just Luigi's. Luigi is number one after all, so maybe that's for a benefit. We could get him like here, and he's honeyed right now, so I need to hit him as hard and as much as I possibly can. Does Luigi still have his hero shot? There's no real way, way to tell, which I don't like. Um, let's just hit Yoon. I mean, I could do this. Once again, it will have more damage done, and it will hit him this time. 
117, and now he's inked and honeyed. <laughs> oh my gosh. So now Mario can get over there and can't quite land on him, but can do you know other things. Can blast him. And then this guy's just dealt with. So that's our first time we've inked an enemy, which I think means he can't attack, if I'm clear on how that works. But that's gonna take him out, and it's gonna be a golden shot, which means with Toad now, we can get some stuff done. But instead, we're gonna be Rapid Peach, and honestly just serve as a big distraction for anything that might roll this way, I think. This would become like infinitely easier if Toad could hop off an enemy, or like, you know, like, do bounces like everybody else could. But he can't, so we can't worry about that. This is a challenging one. This is by far our most challenging level, I think, yet. It's really in there when it comes to the challenge. Hmm. I think I almost wanna move you here, and then move everybody else more to the left to encourage on moving him to the left. So we could do something like that. I just wish we really should have gotten bigger range on this. That's our next focus, is to increase our range on our enemy hop. He's mad now, but that's okay. We all get a little mad sometimes. I'm gonna hide who where. I think that we wanna attack him for as much as we can. Boom, just like that, and he'll come towards me, right? No, he's gonna bounce, which is actually really bad. Once again, this is why I do not like bounce, because now he's gonna move closer, and... but it really isn't that beneficial. But we could maybe, we could finish you off if we were close enough with that. But if I go ahead like this, I mean, I could do that. Or I could just attack you, but that might not finish him off. So we really should slide attack him first with you. Just like this. Wait around. I mean, we could really just come back here. Boom. That wasn't bad. He's gonna be mad, right? Well, actually, he won't really. And then hit you with this. And it did hit honey you, so I could have, but I obviously couldn't bet on it. I'm not a betting zebra. Okay, so I can't pick up any coins. So the best thing we can do for Mario right now is just activate this and hope that he doesn't get too beat up and then finish the round. So that's gonna be another smasher. I'm not incredibly surprised. He will move this turn, so yeah. Oh, that was sort of bad of me. Yeah, I should have expected that. And didn't even activate a special attack. So he's gonna get, oh no, oh no, no, no. Okay, so he didn't do a special move, which was gonna do like 130 damage, I think it usually. Why does he get to attack twice? I don't understand. Why does he get two attacks? What? Well, there goes our perfect. We were so gosh darn close. I mean, I know it's partially my fault, but I don't understand why can they suddenly just get two attacks? That's so not fair. Oh, I hate that so much. All right, we're moving you over here and then we're gonna move everybody else or yeah, encourage him to move to the left. Before I do that though, I might as well you know, get this done a little bit. She has a lot of movement. <sighs> I am so perturbed. All right, Luigi should attack him first. Come on, Luigi, hit something good. But also you're bouncing him, which I don't like too much. Unless it's enough to finish him off, which it's not. So. You can't even hit him now. So that was awful. I mean, Luigi can move, but what benefit does that really give me? We could put Luigi here, maybe we can get more positions and benefits from here. Oh, I'm so perturbed. I am so perturbed. All right, um, right, we're gonna end this turn. More smashers, great. So this guy's mad and he's moving towards the toad. Luckily, he ain't close enough. And this guy's definitely not gonna be close enough then. So Toad just needs to keep skedaddling. He is almost there. <laughs> okay, well, my best bet then is, how far does this reach? If I were to move, I don't know where I should move to get that to work. Cause like, it'll get him just that much closer. It only increase it by one step though, so it actually really doesn't make too much of a difference if I get it set up there. Um, but we can try it. Get that there. We are going to, I think that won't hit both of them. I wish we could control this a little bit more because that's not where I want it, you know? 
I wish we could just like choose like a specific block, but you can't. And that sort of really closes the amount of tactical advantages we could have with it. I just don't like that. So we're just gonna hit you with this. That's gonna finish you off. And then as Toad, we can pick up these coins and then, oh, we can win. Look at how easy that was. Oh my gosh, I am so upset with myself. We were so close to getting it perfect. We have perfected so much in today's episode, but not this one. And that's gonna be the worst one to redo. Oh, it's been a long episode, guys. It's been a really long episode, but at least we get a couple hundred coins extra. On. 700, 15 bonus points. That silver trophy mocks me again. Oh man, the worst. <laughs> So I think that's what we'll finish it off. Of course, we did a lot of work in today's episode, but there's more to be done in the next. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Toad so I know you've watched at the end and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. If you enjoyed today's episode and you want to see more like it, feel free to click on any of the videos on your screen right now or subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.